Alright, I'm going to demonstrate the proper way to clean these intake plenums and all the other aluminum on these motors. The uh, TPI L98 and the 305 motors are similar. Uh, this one has a little more aluminum on it. It's an LT5 ZR1. First thing I want to do is use a little bit of dish soap and some water just to clean up clean up some of the grease and grime that's on these valve covers. They're pretty clean, but there is a little bit of grease. And before we clean the aluminum and make it look good, make sure all the grease is gone. All right, just got some water in there, a little brush. Now a lot of these marks won't go away because they're actually like stains or etched into the aluminum, which is what we're going to try and get out with our aluminum cleaner. But I just want to make sure any grease is gone first. Up here on the plenum. Also, I made the mistake of using some aluminum polish on here, which I found out you're not supposed to do. Um, so I think this dish soap hopefully will remove any contaminants associated with that polish. That's the theory anyways. Do this too. While oh, we're at it. Get as much visible gunk as we can off before we go any deeper. Now apparently you don't want to use other products like Simple Green or any other detergents on this aluminum. It's quite sensitive. Dish soap is okay. And the aluminum cleaner I'm going to use seems to work pretty good. Alright. water rinse on here. And get rid of that soap. I don't want to use too much water on this. Just enough to rinse it. I'm running out of hose here. Let's give that a quick dry. It's very hot out today too, so it should dry fairly quickly in the air. Just speed things up a little bit. Now, as you can see, even when this dries, it's still all blotchy. Right? You can see the marks in there, and even up here. And it's a little bit shiny because I made that mistake of using a polish on it. I also had a little wire brush trying to clean up some marks, which is probably a mistake as well. But live and learn. The product that we're going to use is called Aqualum. Now this is available at Napa in Canada. There are other aluminum brighteners and cleaners available on the market. Really made for aluminum boats. But it works good on aluminum parts as well. Now I've mixed this about 10 to 1 with water. You don't apply it full strength, you apply it diluted in a spray bottle. Given it's mixed with water anyway, I don't suppose a little bit of water is going to hurt. I'm just going to start spraying down the aluminum area here.
let it sit. It's an acid, so it's eating into the aluminum right now. I'm going to help it out with a little bit of a just a plastic brush. My glove's falling apart. Just kind of scrub it in. You can smell the acid working. I don't recommend that you do this. It could be dangerous. This is just a demonstration of what I'm doing. Full PPE should be used by anybody who wants to do this. Masks, everything. Hazmat suit, whatever you can think of. Don't do this, I'm not recommending it. This is a demonstration only. Just kind of scrub that stuff in all over the place. It says you can just spray it on and rinse it off, but then it says brush it for heavily soiled areas, which some of this stuff would be considered heavily soiled, I think. There's still some grease and dirt in there, so it's not perfect. I'm gonna rinse the brush. Okay, things have dried and it's looking pretty good pretty even color not too many stains you can see some evidence of where I took that soft wire brush and tried to clean the marks off of earlier before I knew the hell what the hell I was doing but I guess that's just a part of the car now still a few little marks here and there this might take a few repeated applications but I mean, you get the idea that that stuff, and then hit down here on the down, on the uh, cam covers here, see a lot of that staining is gone. There's still a little bit. So this might take a couple of tries, but uh, overall, that stuff tends to improve the surface for sure. One thing, metal. That's all rusted now, so that that cleaner has has eaten into that. I'll have to clean that up with some rust remover. Same thing with that bracket on top of the alternator. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how this cleaner works on cast aluminum. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.